What's up guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com. CES is officially underway now with the show floor open. Uh, it opened at 10 o'clock today, followed, uh, following a opening ceremony uh, keynote from Qualcomm. Uh, and that was a major event that happened today, as well as the Intel uh, keynote event as well. So again, CES opened up today with uh, CEA, the Consumer Electronics Association, uh, their head board member coming up on stage and introducing everything that will be happening at CES this year. They really talked about uh, the growth and how 2012 is the year for innovations uh, to come uh, and all those innovations uh, coming in 2012 to help solve problems. Uh, they can be reached at a website and you can learn more information about that at declareinnovation.com. Qualcomm came up for the keynote address today showing off a lot of their newest products. Uh, ta starting off with their tablets, talking about how tablets run on their Snapdragon processor. Uh, Qualcomm uh, spent $3 billion in research and development for their Snapdragon processor and uh, their technologies that they have been developing. Uh, they went over some vital statistics on just how mobile is being uh, integrated with everyday life. Uh, it is said that uh, through their research, a person looks at their phone more than 150 times a day uh, to check time, to go through apps to call people, and that 150 times uh, can really amount to something when you're talking about the mobile space. Uh, again, Qualcomm, the makers of the Snapdragon processor, announced the S4, which is their next generation of processors, uh, and they talked about how those are going into tablets and how they're a big Android supporter. Uh, they've been one of Android's biggest supporters uh, since the inception uh, and their partnership. They also made some statistics about Windows Phone. Uh, Windows Phone 7 uh, is completely powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon processors out there. Uh, with T-Mobile to sell the 710 starting in mid-January, uh, Nokia came up on the stage with Qualcomm to announce the 710 on T-Mobile, uh, which were. Today, Nokia also announced the 900, coming very soon to the United States. Uh, the 900 is Nokia's latest Windows-powered phone, and we're delighted to see it finally in the United States, and we'll have more updates on that. Qualcomm also talked a lot about their Snapdragon processors uh, and the newly announced S4, their next generation of processors that power more than just mobile phones, but they power TVs, notebooks, and ultra-portable devices. Uh, Snapdragon is fully integrated within Windows 8 so that if you do have a device with Snapdragon and you are running Windows 8, you're able to use Snapdragon to its fullest to power that device. Uh, Snapdragon also uh, showed off a AT&T LTE device uh, tablet that they uh, showed off how their multiprocessing works and how it's able to use mobile LTE fast with the Snapdragon processor. Qualcomm also showed off their smart TV technology line uh, with voice controls so you don't have to use a keyboard uh, or any special device to uh, input information all you use is your voice to change channels or do anything special. Uh, it's fluid and fast when we saw this at the keynote today and we're very impressed with the results that we did see on stage and we'll hopefully get a better look at that uh, with their new TV technology. Qualcomm also released an e-reader with 150,000 titles to choose from. That will be coming in later November to the United States and will be releasing within the next couple of months to China. Qualcomm talked about their tablets and how they're able to easily recognize multiple 3D objects, uh, as well as a real life scenario involving doctor's equipment where they are able to hook up sensors uh, and use the multi-processing within the tablet to be able to record and show off data to that tablet, uh, being very smooth and fluid with all of its recording. Now after the opening of CES, we were able to look around on the show floor with some 
major products being released today, and of course we can't name off all of the products released today or we'd be going at this video for at least another hour. So we're just gonna keep this short and simple with the top technology that we saw putting out today and that might be useful for you guys as well. Uh, we saw iPad being, uh, being enabled with board games. Uh, you can now buy board games and install your iPad into the game to create a more immersive gameplay with animations and more fun for the family. Samsung released the Galaxy S Blaze 4G, which is coming to T-Mobile later this year. JVC introduced their 4K camcorder uh, to compete with the Red Epic, uh, and we'll just see how well that does. Uh, it's a nice form factor, and it's a 4K. Uh, that means it's uh, the next step higher, actually two steps higher, uh, from 1080p. Turtle Beach also announced new wireless headphones uh, to their growing series of gaming headphones uh, with new wireless HD audio technologies, uh, being able to use both of your Xbox and your PC gaming needs. For today also announced some updates to their Sync, bringing 50,000 radio channels into the car as well as NPR stations uh, to bring a more, uh, a more immersive experience inside of the car when you're in it and driving around. Comcast also announced AirPlay uh, for the iPad, which brings on-demand content straight to your iPad with your Comcast account uh, if you ever want to watch those TV shows from the comfort of your bed without the TV on. Intel had a huge mishap today when they were uh, previewing one of the Ultrabooks. It was a game that was being played but it wasn't really being played. It was a simulated video that when the presenter stepped away from the controls, the game still kept playing like he wasn't even playing at all. We hope that that game was just a demo uh, and was, and if it is a recorded video, we hope that it was recorded on the Ultrabook. Uh, we will see more of that tonight when Intel has their big announcements. Toshiba announced a new set of Blu-ray players to be released in later 2012 uh, to bring more experience, more interactivity, and just overall better quality into your home theater with playing Blu-rays. Intel had their big CES announcement today uh, at 4.30 uh, today, and we were able to get both inside the hall and live blog the whole event. Uh, it was broken up into multiple parts going over mobile and their Ultrabook technology. Starting with Ultrabooks, Dell was on the stage to announce their newest Ultrabook, the XPS 13, available in later February, uh, which brings a everything that you find in Intel's tablets right into Dell. Intel today finally had their live event and keynote to show off their newest mobile and notebook products. Uh, we got a glimpse inside of their Ultrabook technology and Dell was on stage to release the XPS 13 Ultrabook. It's a 13.3 inch Ultrabook uh, replicating all of the internal specs from Intel to bring a light, fast, and portable Ultrabook. Well, that does it for today's CES announcements. We'll see you guys tomorrow when we have even more information to bring you guys. You can view all of our CES stories at logiclounge.com. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more updates from all the videos that we do from CES. And be sure to follow Logic Lounge on Twitter as well to get live blogging updates and pictures throughout the day from CES. So until tomorrow, we'll see you guys later.